there, my name is Erica Smith and I am so glad that you're checking out the Early Learning Launchpad. I am the creator along with my children and I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of what is inside. Um, there are about 650 pages in the Early Learning Launchpad. Do not print them off. It is a lot of paper, a lot of ink, um, but I will show you what to print off so it is um, budget friendly for you. So first of all, we have our table of contents and it shows you um, which pages each unit is so you can find it a little bit quicker. There is a book report. So if you guys want to explore some books with your kids um, and then do some reading comprehension and go over what they've read. Each of the, my units has a title page. So this is unit one. You're going over red, circle, A, B, zero through five. Then we have, whoops, then we have the um, supplies needed. So your supplies here and here's your printables, okay? So not too much. And supplies are basic ones usually that you have around your house. Um, sometimes you might need to go and buy them. Um, do not feel that you need to do every activity in here. This is just um, some fun ideas that can engage you and your child in learning. And this is the overview of the unit. So it tells you what activities are for red, what activities are for circle, letters, numbers. And then down here, it's either going to be a book study, a nursery rhyme study, or a song study. So you can dig in a little bit deeper into those. Each unit also has a library book list. You may wanna consider printing this off or writing it down on another piece of paper. But for the book studies, it includes, you know, the red, um, the little mouse, the red ripe strawberry, and the big hungry bear, you would just put your library reference number and then any other books that you want to check out from the library, you just have a quick page that you can go to the library and check those out. For each activity, I have um, pictures and a description of um, what you need, how to prepare, why this activity is beneficial for your children, and um, it's just kind of like a brief how-to, but there are like step-by-step -step pictures that show you how to do it. So it should be like simple and quick just to look at it, um, get it out, and do it with your child. So here's just a quick look at some of the activities. This activity comes with printables. So this is an activity that you will want to just print out the printables. And then we have more activities. Here's another printable page. So this, you just print these off. Um, it's probably best if you laminate these. They're Play-Doh mats. If you don't have a laminator, don't stress, you can still use them. Here's, you know, alphabet crowns. So just print the printables that come with the activities. And I'll we'll show you, give you a quick peek into um, unit two. You're doing yellow, square, CD, and this is the last unit that you will do numbers zero through five. The next two units will be six through 10, um, all the way up until 20. So you will go through all of the colors, 2D shapes, um, alphabet letters, and, oh, I forgot what I was saying. And the um, numbers zero through 20. So you have, you know, your, your supply list, the activity list, your activities, printable, just print the printables, you know, use it more as an ebook. Here's a square book that you and your child can make. And it is, I feel that it is so important that you do these activities with your child. Um, show them that, that learning is fun. They won't even realize they're learning because it will be playtime and they'll be getting that one-on-one -on -one attention from you. Now, sometimes you'll notice that, you know, you, you're trying to follow the plan and they don't want to do the plan. That's fine. Go with whatever direction that they are wanting to go and let them learn and explore. That is a part of how we learn and become independent. So I hope you and your child really have fun with this early learning launch pad and bring the joy of learning into your home.